You see, the thief's purpose is to come and to kill, steal, and destroy. Yo, what's up everyone? It's Andrew with Unashamed Encouragement. Today we're going to be continuing the book of John. So I'm so thankful that you decided to tune in today. If this is your first time here, please smash that subscribe button. I'd love for you to continue to receive encouragement from the Bible throughout your weeks. Also, make sure you stay tuned till the very end of this video where I take some time to pray for you. Uh, it's just an awesome way to be sent off into the rest of your day. Uh, all right, so let's jump into the text today. We're going to be reading from John chapter 10, verse 10. The thief's purpose is to steal and kill and destroy. My purpose is to give them a rich and satisfying life. John 10, 10. Ooh, it's crazy because you see what happens is in our lives, there's, there's, there's two forces that are working together at all times. You see the enemies out there, the thief, also known as the enemy, also known as the deceiver, also known as the father of lies and the devil. He's out to kill you. He's out to destroy your relationships. He's out to destroy your mind. He's out to destroy everything about you. He hates you and he wants to just destroy you. But see, the, the, the scary thing is, is there's times where he'll disguise himself as an angel of light. 2 Corinthians 2, verse 14. But I am not surprised. Even Satan disguises himself as an angel of light. So what I've noticed with Christians is sometimes we find ourselves being deceived. We find ourselves being deceived. I know in my life, um, I was being led, led astray. I was being led a, down a dark path. And he was lying to me and deceiving me. And I was falling into this trap and, and things were dying around me because he's out there to kill. So I just want to encourage you that whatever you're going through in your life right now, realize and recognize that there is a force out there to take you out. But that's not where the story ends, okay? That's not where the story ends. But, there it is, but God, right? But his purpose, my purpose, Jesus' purpose, that's what he's saying there is to give them a rich and satisfying life. To give them a rich life. Now, that's not talking about prosperity or, or a monetary richness. No, he's saying a rich and satisfying, kind of like you eat a sweet cake, right? And it's nice and rich. You know, you use that term. That's the type of rich that we're talking about here, a, a substantial life. And Jesus, he gives us that life. It's when we put our faith and our hope and our belief and our trust and we fall on Jesus. We say, Jesus, here I am. Use me. Guide me. Teach me. Mold me. We humble ourselves. And we allow Christ Jesus to transform us from the inside out. It's so beautiful. That's why I love this verse so much. Because, yes, there's someone out there to kill us. However, Jesus, 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 Jesus. He's the one, the true king the Lord of Lords. So I just encourage you today, that is the encouragement today, that God gives us abundance. He gives us richness. He gives us a satisfying life. Yes, there's going to be difficulty. Yes, there'll be trials. Yes, there'll be persecution. But when it's all said and done, we'll have a full and satisfying life when we put our hope in Christ Jesus. All right, so let's take some time to pray. Dear Heavenly Father, you are such a good God, Lord. You are such a good God, Lord. And we just praise you and we thank you, Lord. And I just pray for everyone who's watching this video right now, Lord. I pray that you fill us all with your spirit, Lord. And for us to understand, Lord, that yes, there are powers that are against us. But Lord, you are for us. You died for us. You gave your life for us, Lord. And Father, you are life. 
and life abundantly, Father. And we just praise you. We thank you. We worship you and we honor you, Lord. So teach us to step into the true abundant life and not to be dragged down by our evil desires, but to trust in you with all our heart, mind, and soul. Thank you, Lord. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. Amen. Amen, everyone. So I hope you have an awesome rest of your day. Walk in boldness, walk in love, and know that we serve a king who loves us so dearly that he gave his son Jesus for us. Love y'all. Peace.